Cool. Hello, I'm gonna be looking at, I'm showing you guys a breakdown of this lamp that I got from AliExpress. Uh, it's really to the, the, the reason why I bought it was because it had three different types of light modes. So it has white and only white. And then it has a warm white and then it has both together. The arm, as well as the light itself, uh, has a lot of different ways that it can be adjusted. So it turns or rotates around here. It goes around like that. But it also, this goes up and down. And this goes up and down as well. So you can adjust it quite a lot. And if you're reading a book or something, it makes it a lot easier. To do stuff so if you're reading something at night you don't want to have bright white light you can turn it to this warm light for example the plastic for the for this lamp feels quite light it's not very it's not super sturdy there is some uh, bending in it so even there there's some bend but otherwise it's actually pretty good I've had this for about a week and it gives off relatively bright light. The bottom doesn't feel super heavy as well. I'll give you guys a measurement. So that's 294. Yeah. 280 grams. Now one of the questions I had about this lamp or what I was wondering about in terms of it arriving and this one of the specs is how much power or how big the battery is actually inside here and it charges by using it charges using a micro USB in the back and you can also turn it off in the back as well so there's an off switch there when it charges it shows a red LED light and then when it's fully charged it turns to a green light so I was wondering what's inside of here so this shows that it charges at 5 volts it uses normal USB charging but in terms of what's actually inside of here I was wondering what the battery actually was so I'll unscrew these and I'll show you what's inside Cool. I forgot to mention that you also get a USB cable as well. It doesn't come with a charger, so you'll just have to have a charger with it. This is the back coming off, and we can see that it has, these are the screw holes. The capacitive touch is here, and we can turn the light on and off. So these are the screw holes, and then it has some supporting holes just to keep the plastic open. You'll notice it has one 18650 cell inside of it. This 18650 cell says it has a brand on it that I've never seen before. So the brand is Hong, Hong, Hong Li, and there are no marks on it. So I don't know what its capacity is. I assume it'll be a relatively low capacity. The light stays on for a relatively good amount of time and I have charges next to my desk anyway so it's not too much of an issue. But this could be upgraded uh, by yourself, you could cut some of this plastic out and fit in more batteries, that would be no problem. The battery itself outputs the typical 3.7 nominal voltage and the voltage that comes into here goes through and the voltage that goes through the voltage at the end goes through this circuit board here. Now this circuit board, some of the writing is on the uh, the chips there, but it's hard to read them. It's relatively hard to read. You would have seen there though that there were the LEDs and some transistors to monitor the bits and pieces. There's just a couple of, so there's just three wires that are going up the back and up the stem or the 
the arm to get to the to the light itself. It works relatively well, and I'm pretty happy with how it, how it's going. Um, just in terms, the only issue I have really is the capacity of the battery. But that's what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's easily modifiable, upgradable if you want to put more battery in it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'll put the link to where I bought this from in the description below.